Good. It's not a good idea to do it when you've still got kit on the table though, is it? I really love like my... Or your scissors down here. My table. This is an amazing table. Lower it down, Costi. What's that, Johnny Mann? Come here. Never know this Boy. good day. Oh, it's a good lash. No, no, Costi. Right, so, Spaniel. <laughs> I used to be so scared. I used to take me so long to do Spaniels, to be honest. Because again, I was like, oh God, a Spaniel. Oh God, with all the skirt and all that thing. Yeah. The drying, the drying is so ridiculous. It takes forever to dry the ears, you know. Half so, of this dog is done, isn't it? Half of the dog is well, No, it needs redoing. I only rushed it yesterday. Let's say she did it. I had children to pick up and things. Um... I never take that time on my boy. So, to dry the dogs, because people, a lot of people say, oh, how do you dry the spaniels here? It's so hard to dry them. Right, towel dry them as long, as much as you can, you know. Put the towel, take all the water with the towels, and then when you dry the body, you can use that, like you see, I have the mix that has a, a fast dry. She's Romanian, yeah? Um, that will dry faster, or use uh, uh, the happy hoodie, and by the time you dry the jacket, the ears will be dry also. Yeah? Um, I'll just brush him a little bit. She, he was washed yesterday. Yeah. So sadly we didn't have, I couldn't find, I used to have a, a, a show cocker that I used to have here. But we had to shave him because it was really, really matted. I don't have a lot of Spaniels in Breed Standard because everyone I think everyone in the salons, very rare you'll find a, 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 a schnauzer, by God, a spaniel in breed standard because everyone wants them short because we live in the countryside, you know? And I think even in London, because Cheryl is from London, do you have a lot of spaniels in the breed standard? Uh, no, a lot of them, are, well, we do actually, I'm not yeah? gonna lie, yeah, I do have quite a few. Um, We've accumulated a lot more recently, we've got a lot more hand strip spaniels coming in. Okay. Yeah. Um, but then we we have quite a few working as well, but they don't all have lovely nice furnishings, you know. Some of them yeah, have yeah. seven F bodies, nice tight feet. Right, so we will do this spaniel. That is actually it's a working spaniel, but I will do them with free standard for um, a show poker basically. Even he doesn't have. So well, not the ears. Um, Side each to save time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the ears. You know, it's annoying Not when you have, I have short hair that is in your bloody hand and it's so itchy and painful. Now, what are you doing on a tree? Right, a so tree. again, Spaniel, well, depends, depends. With him, you'll do a tree, mm -hmm. but oh. I think it depends on the Spaniel. If they have really, really thick coat. You can do a seven. I can do a seven. Well, a tiny seven or a blade no, seven? No, I would do a seven, I think. Blade seven. A, a blade nice seven. Fit coated, yeah. Uh, if it's thick, also, you can use some coking on, on the body. And if they have like a coat that yeah, was strippable and is now gone. What's this? Please to hear in. that, Cheryl. Oh. Pardon? Please to hear that, Cheryl, uh, Victoria says. Oh. Well, yeah, so if I, if, if I had him come in my salon, I would take a comb attachment, never a seven on this comb, no, I think a seven no. would look terrible. Yeah. You'd get lots of chubby ones. So I would use my, one of my shorter combs, which is probably a, a three comb, three. my yeah. ones, just to basically take that blonde fluff off yeah. and bring it down to a nice, um, this nice deep, Brown, brown. Yeah. so brown it just lays rings. naturally, yeah. I just don't want him that because I know as I soon as you take him short, short, you've got to keep him short, yeah, right? and it will look terrible. He's by the way, in case anyone's wondering, he is neutered, his coat is blown anyway, and I just think I find this easier to look oh, after. And what just I mean. put the latch down on the clipper. Oh, yeah, oh, it's so annoying oh, no. when that happened. Oh, no. So, when oh, this no. happens, no, 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 no. you see, I always have a yeah, uh. I get forceps and don't oh, I? Really? Yeah. This I, wasn't clipping on. I use a, a blade, or a, again, a scissor that I don't actually use a lot. Oh, be careful. And then, I will use a tip. No, you scared me. And then. It's just Thank because you. she can't manage. Right, when we say Spaniel, breed standard, what do you expect? Again, Shoulder, you have to see the muscle, you have to have the skirt, you have the back muscle, and again, what is exactly the same that you do actually to a Westie? Uh, the knife. 
the old one. Ah, that's what she uses to open the... Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay, good yeah, also. Yeah. yeah. So, a Spaniel and a Westby, they have similar haircuts. Can we get you another attachment? Yeah, it's just not sounding very nice, is it's it? because it's Ben. And maybe the blade also. Well, so, I use a blade 30 all the time on attachments. This was the one that we were bleeding using. When they're bent, and that's how they break the, the yeah. blade. Yeah, but that one was the one that he'd already used. The yeah, but the, I don't know, maybe it's the blade. It's oh. the blade, it's the blade. Okay. You use a different blade. Yeah, yeah try this blade. You, you know when people are like, oh, the, the clippers are really noisy. It's not the clipper, I'm telling you, it's the, it's the blade. Yeah, blade. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What were you saying about not using a skip tooth underneath? <laughs> hey, no. No. That's better. Right, again we start with the neck. Okay, yeah, you got it. <laughs> I spot the muscle. Again, the skirt should be under the ribs. Just like the Westie, really. Exactly. That's what I said. It's exactly like a Westie, you know? It's exactly the same haircut. Similar to a Westie. Nice smooth um, motion so you don't get clipper lines. I feel sorry that I don't actually have a have a free standard uh, uh, Spaniel. Yeah, that one was the one. I don't. It means I get you to do my dog for me. <laughs> so what the Holly did is stop way above. Yeah. So I will go a little bit lower. Well, she's got above on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the trouble is, he's got a really thin patch of hair in the actual tuck up. Yeah. And so if you're not careful, it goes into that. Look. Yeah. But it can go. It can suddenly disappear. So I'm scared. Yeah. So yeah. as you get to here, come out. Yeah. See, because she was quite high, so I go lower, and then you create the 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 waist. Yeah. So again, follow the shape of the ribs, and when the ribs stops, you go down. Oh, basically out. And you see already, you have a nicer shape on the ribs. Yeah, come and see it now. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Can you see? Yes. Yeah, it's a little bit. Again, I'm going to expose the muscle. Mm -hmm. Can I just have him for one second, please? Yep. Can you move the head towards you? Right, so when I come on the back of the spaniel, again, yeah, I have the rosettes, find the rosette. And I will scoop out. If you had an English show copper, would you still use a comb attachment or would you thin that? No, also a comb attachment. And again, I'm trying to save the hair here and to create angulation. So I blend, slowly, slowly blending to expose the angulation. Um, so Victoria is asking, would you recommend wide tooth blades and combs? Yes. Yeah, you can use yes. them. They'll they save you time. <laughs> They're equally as good as any other. I, I actually love to get them. I've not tried them, but I really, really good. The wide blades. I love the wide blades, yeah. especially for big dogs. My God, really, really uh, time savings. So I've never used the them. only thing that I found, they blank really good, fast. Blunt. Blunt. Not gets. What's that mean? Oh, she's she's correcting herself. She said, "Would you get? Would get you no, try? No, no. Which oh, okay. Would you guys?" Yeah, I will use. This dog is so annoying. Oh baby, he's anxious. Yeah, oh, that I'm not this one. Yeah. <sighs> I need to buy more of this at the end, so I don't need to change them all the time. Right. So again, I want to see. Oh. Yeah, come on, stop the dog. Gross out. 
maybe you can go there so I can look at you. I push all the hair inside to create the angulation, yeah? Good boy. Um, if I have a, a cocker spaniel, I will do the tail like this, really short. They used to have flat tail. Now, if you look in the show world, all of them, they have a padded tail. So the tail is short now. I think, I mean, he was actually, as I mentioned earlier in the video, that um, he was dog, he was a puppy. Yeah, he was dog. And I dog. actually think, I think the flat tail looks lovely if they've got the full tail. No, I horrible. Do. But anyway, that's Horrible. Don't listen to her, it's but horrible. But with the, with the, when they've got a crop tail, a dog tail, I think he jump from a farm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if... I didn't actually buy him, I was um, I ended up with him. Oh. Uh, I like it, hate. A, they were working. Fluffy tails. Yeah, wait, if they're working on a farm then they are allowed to dock. I don't like fluffy tails. I hate fluffy ears, fluffy tails. Not for me. No one brushed them. Uh, oh, right. Be the West thing. Yeah, it's the West thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so on a spaniel again, spaniel they have a short tail, yeah? I forgot my mask, sorry. It's fine. The thing with Spaniel, I finish a Spaniel around one hour because you have to think, you don't need to do the face, nothing on the face, you know? So it's just the body and the ears and the tail and the feet, nothing on the face. So you save so much time, I finish a Spaniel in an hour, now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, so again, the, he doesn't have a lot of hair on the front leg and the back leg, so I'm really, really sorry for that. Uh, they have low set hook, so like exactly like a Westie. They have a padded cut hook, so they don't have a, a lot of hair here. Um, again, we can't really do a lot of this on this dog. I think what we need to do here is a lot of people wanted to know about nice tight feet. Yeah, again. So with this dog, because there's not a great deal to do on him, we can focus on showing you how to get those feet nice and tight. Is that okay with everybody? And also, the Spaniels actually, they came from, uh, everyone said like, oh, uh, uh, like a Spaniel feet, like a cat feet. So the cat feet came actually from the Spaniel, basically, you know? Yeah. Um, so exactly what I did to us to earlier with the with the Westy, I did exactly the same with this. Um, he actually, I think, yeah. I see, I will show you because Holly did her side already um, here compared with this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, so this foot, how this looks? See, rise and tidy. And then we can zoom in and show and how we, can, we do that foot. Yeah. yeah. I used the um, second blade. In, in a reverse. Oh yes, that's yeah. a great idea. Yeah, I like true. I like that. Uh, yeah. The seven reverse, you know, you can and only the. do it on certain colors, so it's not good on all colors. But I do on all colors actually. Do you? Yeah. 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 Right. When you have a spaniel, you have all, brown. all that hair that sticks so, here. Sorry, Tosi, we're keeping you up. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, twelve well, hours. Twelve ahead of me now. <laughs> so while you take your blade seven. Would you and, brush it up first? And you scoop out, yeah. But you, I tied it because you already did it. So I use my finger. So initially, you, I'd use the slipper brush to brush it up. Yeah. So I think on a... On a, what's the name? On a... Hey, wait, 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 wait. When we do the other leg, actually, we'll... Because this is already done anyway. Just to give you a warning, he had an operation on that, that leg, so he's a little bit weaker on it. Okay. Breed Sanders said on Spaniel, you should, see, you should see leg, you should see bone, yeah? Now, with the Breed Sanders with the Spaniel, now what they do, they leave like full tube leg. So they change a little bit ah, ah, ah. the styling, you know? So with, with, with this, actually, and also, I didn't do the front. So also, when you do a Spaniel, they have really, really tight on the front of the, so where's the chest bone? I will go, can I go with the blade seven? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't mind that, it's his ears on especially. So I will go with the blade seven. Stop. And again, where's the chest bone? I will scoop out. Good. And then go a little bit on the corner, exactly how I do with the Westy. Oh, 
Hey. Because you want this nice and clean and tight. Then you use your thinning scissors. Sneezing all over you. Bloody hell was my bloody thinning scissors. Yeah. Right, and then you blend the long part here into the short. Oh, where are they? Done, sign, sign, I will use this one. These ones are nicer. Now we expose this area to create the angulation. So you can see how the hair grows here down and here this direction. So I when I clip, I clip just this part, yeah? I don't go into the into the back basically. I will just and you scissor. With, with the curl, you didn't reverse it. Yes, did and here I go with a curl with the curl and here well and here the same actually. A lot of spaniels they have he doesn't have actually, but lots of I chopped them off. Yes. Oh did you? <laughs> so lots of spaniels have this uh, pocket here, oh. you know? So what I try to do all the time, I like to keep it clean because if you it's wet all the time, it can have infection, you know. So what I do, where's my bloody clipper? Is that my clipper? Yeah. So what I do, I take by seven, pull all this, and clean this. I'll do this to all the spaniels. A lot of spaniels that have bad breath because of this and infection. Yeah. So I clean this pocket all the time. All the food in yeah, all the food, all the gunk. He's got bad teeth, that's why he's got bad breath. Oh yeah, yeah. you need a Emmy pad, I think. I know. Well, well, I've been brushing them, but it's it's too late. It's already built up. Good Should boy. Should have done that side of his neck actually while he was there. Okay. So shall we do the other side of the neck? God, I can't. It's all right, let's see. So why I did on that side, she does on the other side, yeah? Maybe move the dog a little bit backwards, so, yeah. So when you go with the clippers, you go with the clippers, and then two fingers, you go into the angulation. You stop where the chest bone is, yeah, because it's part of the, of the, of the skirt. God, I'm covering my hair. Mm. <laughs> So you see all of this hair that sticks out here? Stop it! Hey! What? You could put I really can't show you a lot on the legs because um, Holly did this legs at all. So we'll move back to Cheryl uh, and she will do... With the hair, with the... I will just explain it quickly about the ears mm. on the Spaniel. So because she, she doesn't want us to cut the ears. Uh, no, I don't mind you cutting the ends, I just don't want you doing your thing. But right. it's a working cocker, so I wouldn't ever take this top bit on a working. You, I you take, would on an English. I on take a on a, all of them. Um, right, so basically, when you have a spaniel ears, when it's actually where the jaw is, is where you stop with your clippers, yeah? So basically, like three fingers were from the beginning of the, of the ear. So in the line with the jaw is where you clip. And you stop on a show cocker. On a show cocker, the length. This is what I know from uh, from Emma. Do you cut the you length? You should be the length of the ear should be not shorter uh, than the um, shoulder. Shoulder, yeah. That's where your your length is... of of your spaniel the, the ear should be. The longer it is, is wrong. So you have to cut it. So yeah. the, sorry, I didn't know that either. So the ear on a sh English show cocker. Yeah, should be should in the be line with the with the shoulder. Right, okay. Would that be the same with an American show cocker? I don't know. Uh, with American, I don't know exactly. But I think it should be the because it's also it's a co um a, a, a cocker. It should be the same. I don't think it should be really really long. Do spin. No. So people were asking about ears, weren't they, on on some of the groups when we were asking about what they wanted to do. So do cut the length of his ear. Show them how to do the spaniel rounded ear. Right, so... Yeah, go on. Well, I can't do it because if you're there... <laughs> right, so when you do the round ears, you should have, like I say, we use that uh, dryer that we straighten the hair. You can actually, a lot of people, when they do a show cooker, they straighten with stra straighteners, you know? 
So what I do normally, come on, stop. Do we tell his face? Yes. Right. I take my. I think I'll take my chunkers. I will say my chunkers because my curved chunkers. So what I will do, I will do a straight line. And then I will find, like I do with the Westie. Oh, I'll do it like this. I will do it round and then I will go right into the ear. That's not something I've ever done before. I didn't see it, I don't know what I did. It's like a Westie where you fold the ear and you go round. I stop, 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 stop. Shh, shh, shh. And then I just cut the corners from this side and that from that and side. And how do you deal with the inside? Because that's the bit I struggle with the most. Look, you can do like this. You follow the shape of the ear, yeah? And then you brush this here. And again, you follow the shape of the ear, yeah? But also, the longest point for me will be here. I don't want to go shorter here. So I will stop right here. And this is what I'll do it for a cockapoo. I will do it to every long dog here. Yeah? Mm. A nice round. I much prefer the round it is. I don't like dead straight. I yeah, I don't like it. I like to give a nice, nice shape. It's okay, Baba. And this is it. You can actually, if you want, you can cut all of this, but I don't want it. No. It looks I, much it nicer. It looks like, like here. I think I've probably caught that at some point, but it yeah. looks like it's got a step in it. And yeah. All right, this is it with a nice round. Uh, this applies to every cocker poo, um, cocker spaniel, cocker spaniel yeah, like um, working one, or to a cocker poo with the longer ears, or, or, or what, a shih tzu also long ears, you know, if you want to make the crate that nice round ears. Well, yeah. like Maltese, because they've got And Maltese of... also, yeah. and Maltese, and also all the time, you know, when the people they have like here, you know, when they have that, I would use a thinning scissor. Yeah. And I will take, I will take the thickness from the top of the ear, you know, because I don't want this to be, I want this to blend nice into the ear. So I'll take, yeah. I'll just blend it. I should say, I reversed the attach three on the top of his head last night as yeah. well, because I don't like the top knot. So you want, you don't want nothing sticking here, so you want it to be like, to look like natural and then it, 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 it is how it grows. Everything nice front of the ear will cut. Hey, stop. Because you want the air canal to be fresh, uh, to have fresh air inside. So if you block the air canal, then they can have, uh, have ear infection, yeah? So you want to have everything in front of the ear canal to be clean, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Wait, so wait. because we did, uh, Holly did the fit, we will do the other fits uh, next week. With my side of the body, I don't actually do, if I were, but, this is how basically you have to clip a spaniel, yeah? Exactly how we did with the uh, with the uh, Westie. It's yeah. exactly the same the same trim. So should go turn like this or uh, well you're not gonna be able to bring the camera I know just do it since uh or well, we're moving back and do the feet there so that we can see the feet. Yeah. Off on that side. Wait, wait, wait. No, because we need him facing the camera to do that. Oh, okay, yeah. It's too tight. I know, but it's blocked. Right, bring this one off. I'm hooking. That's it. Boom. <laughs> Got him on there? That one? Perfect. No. So, when you have a spaniel and you want that nice hey, side hey, fit, hey. So, so, do you want to do one? Actually, just do it. Do it with a seven, because I, I was going to trim this one. But I think it, with a brown working cocker, you always get a nicer. But with a reverse seven. Am I best in here, or am I better to actually leave the room? Do you think to keep him steady? Because I'm quite happy to leave him with Stop. you, but I don't want to. Yeah, do it then. Just because it was like, oh, cool, you have to make... check on Ginny for me. Hmm? Ginny. Yeah, of course. Thank you. So I'll cut everything in front of the ear. And then we'll do the neck because um, Holly, uh, um, Cheryl, Cheryl? Yeah. can you hold it here like this, please? Yep. Cheryl clip the side here. So what I'm trying to, blend, to, this to blend this hair. 
And this is the same on retrievers as well, isn't it? Yeah. Where the retriever is short here, you can blend all of this. I have a flat coat that you have to blend all of this with the thinners. Or Chanko, it has thick, yeah. thick coat. Now go right into the feet, into the, to create the shape of the, uh, of the chest. Yeah, because this ideally on an English show would be a lot thicker. Yeah. So you would come down and, and in at the top of the leg. Good boy. Right, how to do, do hey, do, hey. Do, 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 cranky. Good boy. So how to do this fast, yeah? So... Do you want a brush? So you brush up. Good boy. And then you take your plate. Hey, it's done. It's all right, mummy's only around the corner. Come on. Good boy. You know it's exactly how you do a poodle feed, actually. It's exactly the same. But again, you don't need to stretch a lot with the scissoring. And it gives quite a nice neat finish as well. Yeah, exactly. So if you're a little bit nervous with your scissors, this is a really good way and a safe way to get that nice foot. I'll put my dog bath in. And then if Crosley's done his clipper work nicely, all you should then have to do is just go up either side of the clip of the nail beds and just tidy it up. Well done. Good boy. I will clip also the back of the pad. And just by doing that, just because I, I did with my uh, blade, you see how tight it is, I'm just actually doing... Good lad. He's a nervous, nervous nearest. You see, he gently went up either side of the nail bed. And voila. Job done. Yeah, put it on the floor. Yeah, that's fine. You see? So how it looked with all that hair and how it looks when you use a blade. Yeah, blade seven reverse gives a nice tight fit, especially when it's a, when it's a working cocker. Yeah? Do you want to or also you can do the, this or trim this one? Yeah. If you want, you can see, do you want to trim it? Handy. So, um, uh, shall we do, uh, she will do with a clipper, with a scissor. Hey, 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 hey. Right, what we'll do is, face him that way. Okay. Uh, let me turn oh, this. I don't know if you're going to get internet to come around there, will you? No. I'll put like this. Can you do that? Like that? Yeah, if you can bring that closer. Yeah. So. Let me put this scissor because this is going a little bit crazy. I'm going to go only where the toes are. I'm going to pull it all up. So this is the second version. So these are thin scissors. You can do it in straights. With a straight sticks you faster. Straight, yeah, so you can just bang, bang. But I do find with straights, if you're not careful, you can cut into the short hair. He's a bit of a wooly. So I'm going to pull my hair out to the side. And then go up the inside of the nail. One. Inside. So you see, in my opinion, it's way longer, takes longer time to do the scissors. Is it something like five minutes or three, four minutes to do with the with the clippers, you know? And again, when you are a busy I salon, that, I don't think there was that much time difference. It's just this is a lot more intricate. Yeah, it's so time. It's a lot more fiddly. So if you can get away with doing it with a clipper, why not? See, 
nice type foot. So that's nice type foot with the scissors, and this is made with the clippers. It's the same thing, but I don't know. I blade seven is much. But if you blade had seven is much. You blade off, seven is how much? Oh, it's what's blade seven? Three millimeters. Three millimeters is blade seven. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Three point two. Three point two millimeters. It's on a. Yeah, but I use the seven F earlier. This is what I use for the for the blade for the for the fit. But if right. you was gonna clip a seven F down the front of a dog's leg on a clip off. Would you then use a yes. five? So if uh, if I have a spaniel that actually uh, he wants the short length all over, I will do this. If they want breast standard, I'll use scissors. Yeah, because the it takes too short. So also you have to know what uh, when to use them. You know. So if same length all over, I will use it. If it's a breast standard and they want with full furnishings, uh, I will use scissors. I will not use the clippers between the pads. Yeah. But this one is a working cocker, so I think what I will do, because I'm really not happy with the spaniel that we have today, I have actually a hand shipping spaniel that is coming, I think, next week, I do it after. So don't remove yourself from, from this group, because I will do a, a breed standard uh, uh, hand shipping spaniel on the group, uh, I think could be the final week, I think. And then you'll see actually the full leg on a spaniel and um, how to do it, yeah? And the back end also to create a nice angulation on, on a breed standard spaniel, yeah. So we will go today with the, with the, with the, uh, with what we have, but next week or the week after I don't know. I will go live on here and I will do the spaniel with you guys. Right. Fabulous. Right. Now what do you want to do? Well, actually, at the moment we don't actually have a lot to do with this dog because it's, it's just done. a it's... matter of tidying his feathering up. Really. Yeah, tidy the feathers because. It's quite short, it doesn't have full furnishings, you see, so it has a, so what she did, Holly, she did in the front, she took all this uh, hair in the front, and then she lift, lift some feathers in the back. This is what Brie standard they say in the spaniel, uh, in a short spaniel also. Um, but now, I will show you next week, or when I have, I can't remember when I have the spaniel, now they want full leg, completely full leg, so I, I actually prefer a full leg. Um, but like I said, you saw what I said. The breed, the breed standard on the body is exactly like a like a like a Westie. Just spin him around. Exactly the same. Victim. Yeah, and like I said, when I have a spaniel, it's so easy because you don't do nothing on the faces, you know. So you save 20, 30 minutes that you don't have to do the faces. We will blend a little bit here on the back. Did you click here? No. Okay, so it's really just tidying up his feathers. Yeah, just like, again, we've got the rosette and you scoop out and you want this hair. So I scoop More out. Like this. Yeah. I like short tail, short muscle. But you always, you have to be careful, don't leave lines, yeah? Don't try to separate the body, yeah? Because it's not a, a, a one, a one uh, size, yeah? It's three sizes, you so have the... This dog hasn't got a lot of tuck-ups, so what Holly had done was left him fuller here, hadn't she? Yeah. But it made him have no waist, and you couldn't... There was no definition between the back leg and the and body. The skirt. So we've taken, scooped that out without losing the length that she has got in the tuck-up area. So we've just gone in. You flick, you flick at the wrist, in and out, in. And you create, you create uh, a waist and you create the difference between the legs and, and the skirt, yeah? No. Right, so this is it, guys. With, uh, when I have like this, when I have this hair, I actually go with a touch three. You know, it's easy. And then I will just do the... Thinners or the straight, straight over it, but always be careful because some of these spaniels have another extra dew claw here. Sometimes. Yes, you know I had a girl of mine. She had a well, actually was a student actually, uh, and I said I said let's clip. There was a dog that was really really matted, so let's I said let's do seven play seven all over, and the dog had the dew claw inside, oh. and she was pressing and pressing and she hitting. I was like, oh, this is weird because one leg had the dew claw, one leg didn't have the dew claw. 
uh, and she was pressing and pressing and pressing and it started to bleed all over. I said, what the bloody happened? And then realized actually it had the juke law. So you have to be careful. If the clipper stops, you have to check what's happening there, why it stops, yeah? So we've just taken that, that's so just take light padding. Nice and padding. You're just gonna take the very tips off of that feather in there. Yeah, and then I like to play quite tight on the bum. Perfect. I'm just gonna even that up because it's yeah. shorter one side. So this is shorter so it's, than... Remember, it's an A, an A shape. Or I call it a V shape. Oh, well that's... It. Okay, it's an upside down V. Yeah. Exactly, I summed that up. But this should be right here. Yeah. So the V should start actually here. But like I said, I will show you on the other spaniel that I will have next week. So that's why I said don't remove yourself from, from the from the web from the group because I will do another live video with the cocker span show cocker. Because actually I promised you a show cocker, but I couldn't find one. So um, I want everyone to be happy. So I will do a show cocker next in a couple of weeks. I don't know when is that, that one. Do you want to just do that front February and he's done? Right. So, so again, mm. no. So clear just behind that back pad. And just tidy. I like to lift my leg out to the front and come what? around in a bit more of a U when it's on a working cocker that's got no hair at the back. How? Oh, hair at the front. How? So. Lift your leg out. Like a U? What do you mean like a U? Well, you go, like, as in... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I just go... Back up a little bit there. Yeah. So it's like that. But he, ideally, he'd have more. So you sort of come out. Yeah. But I will not do that to a, a, a show cocker. No. And then you could just blend those side bits in. Because obviously she has quite short fabric in there. Come here, darling. You can tidy those bits there up with thinning scissors. the dog will allow it you can pull it a little bit yeah give more nice texture yeah. more natural texture but not not all coats will fall down like that so stay just move it there and there so mm. when you look at it it doesn't protrude out the side too much okay guys you're amazing I've been to Lincoln, Lincoln and back and you are still in. Yeah, we are almost done. I've got to drive back to Chichester now. What is that? What do you mean, what is that, uh, Dawn? What do you mean, what is that? Like... If you can tell me exactly what you mean. What is that? Yeah, Dawn Richardson. So now she's blending the, the chest into the skirt. I'm only taking minimal amount off because he really doesn't have a lot there. His mum is a groomer, so if she wants it shorter, she'll take him shorter. Remember that we need hair here. Yeah. Oh, we need a lot of hair to blend from the leg into the tuck up into the skirt. So he doesn't have that. Perfect. Uh, uh, what you use on? Oh, uh, uh, we use attach three, so that's number ten millimeters. And that just took him down to his nice sort of yeah, nice natural jacket. Really, yeah, so it? it's attach uh, ten millimeters. And then you just blend that bit there in. So. Like I said, guys, stop labeling them, and it's easier when you don't label the breed. Yeah, definitely. Because then you think, oh, it's 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 a I don't know. 
how to call it. It's a spaniel, but you know. Just turn that off. Right. And I think this is it, guys. This is done. Thank you ever so much. You can put him on the floor. So you see that actually leaves a nice texture, a nice uh, length uh, and very natural. I will use on a lot of Spaniels so they have like this fine coat, but he has like a very, very thick coat. Uh, I think I will use a blade. So you always try the attachment and if you don't like it, you use a blade, you know, because not all the time the attachment will look nice on, on the dogs. Um, like I said, because I didn't have a spaniel, I will have a spaniel, hand stripping spaniel next week or the week after, I don't know. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Come on, girls. Yes. Sorry, uh, uh, Cheryl, is, she's putting like... <laughs> my scissors away. She's using some chalk on for her nose, you know. Huh? Um, don't say that. I really hope everyone enjoyed it. Um... Uh, we did our best. You and know. we did. And, and we did it all for, well, not free from you, but free. We haven't charged anything. We're not earning anything. It's all just to put some money in the kitty for Green Team England so that hopefully when the worlds go ahead, we'll have some funds to get us travelling. And I hope it will make you proud and bring the, the trophy for, for the England. And thank you for your support because without you, we couldn't raise. Actually, I want to tell you that we raised £2,000. Uh, so I have to say thank you very much thank for, you. for your support, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see us live seminars, we can come to your salons if you want. Uh, and then I prefer live seminars because you can go and touch and feel, you know, than the webinar. But webinars, they can stay here. So like I said, it will be for, for a couple of months. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed it. And we wish you all, uh, uh, the rest of the... Uh, Bank holiday, Bank holiday weekend, weekend. Have fun, don't drink too much. Yeah, like I'm them. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily I don't drink. So. Uh, thank you very much for spending your Sunday with us all. Bye yeah. bye. Love you guys, guys. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. I want you all to our new salon in Bucharest. Well, thank you for the invitation. We will come if you have us. Of course, we will yeah. come. Well. They never been to Romania. I will just take them to the four horrible places in Romania. This is what they deserve. Uh, so yeah, kiss from Romania. Bye. Kiss from from England. I say bye bye, <laughs> and I will still go live. I will still late here. Costis prost. Costis meaning Costis prost. So Costis prost means Costi you're stupid. Yeah, uh, this is what she learned. Yeah, the, the only other one I learned, I can't say on here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you guys, really, really thank you, I appreciate you again for your support yes. and we'll see you next week uh, or the week after when I have the Spaniel, Coco Spaniel at Bree Standard, yeah? But without these uh, bitches here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Love you lads! Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Bye.